Hello YouTube. Today I will show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch OS 4.0.1. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure your iPhone is on and connected to the computer. Next, you're going to want to download two files. I'll have both the links for to download them in the description. The first one is the iPhone OS 4.0 Restore dot IPSW. The second one is Red Snow. Once you download both programs, put them on the, your desktop. Now what you want to do is you're going to open up Red Snow. Now you're going to click browse and look for your IPSW that you downloaded. So here it is. So I'm going to double click it and it's going to process the firmware. It's going to be a minute. Okay, so it says I PSW successfully identified. Now you're going to want to click next. Now it's going to download the kernel. Now it's patching the kernel. Okay. Now you want to check the things that you want to install. I'm, I checked install Cydia, enable multitasking, enable home screen wallpaper, and enable battery percentage. Now once you click everything you want to install, you're going to click next. Now it's going to tell you to turn off your iPhone or iPod Touch. So you want, what you want to do is you're going to hold the top button until it says slide the power off. Then you're going to wait until the iPhone is fully powered off. Now as you can see the iPhone is powered off. So now what you want to do is make sure it's powered off and connected to the computer. Then you are going to click next. Now you're going to hold down the power button and the home button. Then you're going to release the power button and hold the home button. Now it's going to jailbreak it. So now it will be a few minutes. The iPhone will restore a couple times and it will turn white. Now you should see this icon. It says downloading jailbreak data. So now what you're going to do is you're going to wait until it finishes uploading the RAM disk. It will take a few minutes. Don't worry if your iPhone stays like this for a while. It's supposed to stay like this for a while. Okay, now it's uploading the kernel. So that's going to take a few seconds. And it says rebooting. Now it says the rest of the process takes place on your device. So click finish. So now you should see a spinning icon right down here. That means that it is jailbreaking your iPhone. So now it will probably take about 20 minutes to fully jailbreak. So I'm going to pause the video and then come back when it's finished. Now you should see this icon. It says replacing kernel flashing NOR. And you see a little, you can, you should see a little pineapple running. That's a good sign if you see that. Now this will take a while to complete. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. When the jailbreak is done, your iPhone sh or iPod Touch should restart. It'll look like this when it is restarting. It will take up to f five minutes for it to restart.
I'm going to pause the video and come back when this is fully restarted. Okay, it has been fully restarted, so I'm going to slide to unlock. Now, if you go on the second page, you should see Cydia. It will look like a blank icon. Okay, so if you run Cydia, it will change the blank icon into the Cydia logo. So now I'm just going to prove that Cydia works on OS 4.0. 0.1 So it's a uh, reorganizing so it'll close automatically when it's done This might take up to like three minutes for it to fully reorganize So I'm going to pause the video again and come back when it's done Okay, Cydia is done reorganizing, so slide to unlock, and there Cydia is. Congratulations, you just jailbreaked your iPhone OS 4.0.1 firmware. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.